hi everyone uh, welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are going to learn how we can download ndvi data from landsat imagery and you can look at any landsat imagery ranging from landsat 4 to landsat 8 latest landsat uh, 8 and 9 and uh, you can directly uh, get ndvi data you can get the ndvi data of 8 day average to uh, annual average data and i will show you everything in this video so look this uh, video watch this video until the end and if you are new to this channel uh, please uh, subscribe this channel like this video and share this video among your friends and let's get started so this is where you will be writing the code you can see my screen and you can directly go to this link so i'll uh, give this link in the description and after uh, if you are new in google earth engine you can go to sign up option and uh, if you have your uh, institutional account G, uh, email account it would be easier for you to sign up in google earth engine uh, and if you have uh, your personal gmail account it may take some while to uh, verify your account so after that uh, you will get uh, this option or or you can you you will get uh, this type of interface where you will be writing the code and you can see at the uh, left side of your screen you can see the script documents and asset and this is the new script this is where you will be writing the code and this is here you can see console task and inspector option and let's see you can see here is uh, in the scripts you can see on the left side here are examples a lot of examples that will show you different type of data sets that are available in google earth engine and some simple code to access them so we'll be using this dataset platform inside the example and uh, let's go to data set and inside data set we will be looking at landsat data so here you can see here is the option of landsat and inside landsat you can see from ranging from landsat 8 so you can see here landsat 8 8 day ndvi this is one option and this is annual ndvi and 32 day ndvi Similarly, you can get this NDBI for uh, Landsat uh, 7, Landsat 5, Landsat 4, and you can use it uh, according to your need. So, I'll go with Landsat 8, 8 day NDBI. So, when you click on this, you can see this code automatically uh, get transferred to your code interface and you can see image collection and lens at uh, 8 collection 1 and 8 day ndbi so you can filter the date so i'll go with 2020 to 2020 for january 1st to 2020 january 10 and so uh, here is uh, the parameter from 0 to 1 but you can also uh, change this to 1 to minus 1 to 1 since ndbi value ranges from minus 1 to 1 you can change this value we call a uh, uh, visualization parameter from minus 1 to 1 and uh, you, you can see the map center here uh, at uh, this location lat latitude and longitude and eight layer so we have created a uh, uh, data sets like ndbi from the range uh, 2020 uh, january 1st to 2020 january 10 it will select the data ndbi value from this range and we have uh, this uh, will add the, the ndbi layer here first and the parameter colorization parameter will be colorized bees and uh, we'll write this layer name as colorized so when you see here here in this option here in the map you will see the name as colorized so let's run this once
okay so this is the ndpi value and so i'll go to another location okay so this is ndpi and uh, let's change the color so since it's all green let's change it to 2020 maybe six to nine 2029 and then run okay let's see yeah it's saying a bit good and now let's uh add our area of interest so you might have your one area of interest so i have already imported so if you want to uh import the area of interest you can go to load so here you can add the data from new and you can add any type of data save file csv file or geotiff so i have already added a save file and let me in uh, click this is my save file of siraha municipality and i will import uh, this by clicking on this import and I'll change its name to Siraha okay so since we have image collection we want a single image uh, that is within uh, this Siraha municipality so what we'll do is I will uh, add a function so this function will take the image and it will return image uh, it will clip within the uh, siraha municipality okay and what i will do is i will so we can uh, so since we have image collection and we want to take a single image or we can uh, take the mean value within this data so what i will do is i will uh, do mean value mean value or uh, we can also write first second third within this uh, date interval okay so after that since uh, this was for map center let me change this to uh, so we want our map to uh, so directly in our area of interest so map dot center object our center of object is siraha and our zoom level will be for this i will make this as 13 and after that let's run okay so 13 is very high so let's make this as 10 okay 10 is also not good let's make it 11 okay 11 is fine so it has taken uh, the mean value from the range 220 uh, 61 to 2020 19 it has written the value and it's ndvi value we are in siraha municipality uh, let me change it's not so much nice i can change to 17 and see what it comes okay it's good
okay this is the ndvi value uh, of uh, this area so you can change the color palette from here and now i'll show you how to export the image image so to export the image i have already one code here so i will copy this and paste here and so it will directly export to uh, our google drive so what our image name was colorized and this is colorized description is ndvi scale means uh, the resolution 30 meter resolution and the file format will be geotiff and i will uh, 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 need the ndvi value within our siraha municipality district so uh, let's run once again and after you have run this you can see on the tags here is the option of tax so on some of tax means this is ready to export but haven't been exported yet so i will click on run and uh, so you have to go to the different system name of the is and so if you have any specific folder and um, cloud uh, uh, google earth engine then you can directly give the name of the folder or you can set it as blank so that you can directly access it from uh, google drive when you uh, go to the link of google drive and after that click on run so it will take some time to export so let me go to google drive okay so it's been completed and let me see once again let me change my drive so you can see ndvi here created you created today and you can download this and you can you can uh, visualize this on any gis software so you can download this from here and you can visualize it from any gis software so uh, uh this much for today and you can change any lens at uh, imagery lens at ndvi from this from n world to monthly to eight day interval from lens at four to lens at eight so i hope this uh, video was useful for you and once again thank you very much for watching this video and uh please uh like this video and if you have any query uh, please mention that in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much